Hey guys, welcome back to Nerf Ops. My friend gave me this strong arm and it shoots perfectly fine. Just the issue is and I didn't really care about fixing it until I got another strong arm. And again, the barrel does not rotate. It makes it super inconvenient. And after two of my guns having this issue, I figured it was a pretty common problem. Let's open it up and fix them. First things first, let's take off all the screws. Now once you've removed all 12 identical screws, what you want to do is lift up this back priming handle. This should be super easy to do. Do not pull on the side with a spring on it as you will disconnect the spring. Next, you want to lift up this entire top face. The way you want to lift up this face is by pushing down on the kind of revolver cylinder and lift up at the same time. Sorry if it's upside down for you, I just need to get a good grip on this and see straight. Notice how I'm pushing with my finger on the revolver and it should all just kind of lift up easily. I recommend removing this top attachment piece and its spring to make sure that they don't fly out. If you accidentally remove the barrel, that's fine. All you want to do is take out this piece right here, nothing's holding it in, and then just plop it back on, like so. Problem with this gun is a few things came loose. And closer up, you can see that this piece was not in line with the barrel. What you want to do is kind of pop it in to make sure that this piece kind of clicks onto the barrel itself. Once clicked on, you can test to make sure that your revolver is spinning by pulling on this white piece right here. You will want to hold everything down and put your finger right here and right here while doing this to make sure that everything doesn't go flying. The revolver itself should spin around super smoothly. Keep in mind, you might need to clean up a bit if you have dust and dirt kind of blocking up the areas and kind of clean up the areas inside. So your plastic might be worn out, and if that's the case, you might need to get some new pieces. Might have to wiggle around your finger with it. Barrel and the entire works. May be a little bit annoying having to realign and readjust a whole bunch of times wiggling it around with your finger. As you saw, like I did right here, I had to push it forward, back, all around, kind of mess around with it, but don't get frustrated. Patience is the key until eventually, it should spin around perfectly fine. Try not to lose any pieces because these can be pretty hard to find. Keep in mind that when your gun is already open, it is pretty easy to refurbish it and clean it to look a little bit better than it was before. Anyway, make sure to close this all up. On this front piece, if you haven't already, out your spring. So as you can see, there is a blue little knob right there. It's kind of sticking out. You can slide the orange piece above or below this blue piece. What you want to do when putting in the spring is slide the orange piece all the way up and aim to put the spring right on top of the blue piece, not below or in between. Way up right here and push in your spring. I recommend putting your hand over it while you're doing this so that your spring will not fly out because that's actually happened to me before and it is a pain. You can push it down a little bit to make sure that it's not underneath the blue piece. It's now only above the blue piece when I push it down. That way you get the correct amount of resistance when pulling the trigger. Take a few tries, try not to get frustrated or lose the spring. Finally, all we need to do is now close up the strong arm. Push down on your spring while you're doing this so you don't lose it and put over your handle right there. Make sure all your internals are strongly in place. You can test it one more time. It kind of click well into place. And all your screws, sorry it's upside down, I just wanted to make it a little bit easier for me. All the screws are the same, so don't worry about putting which one's which. Now once you've put in a certain amount of screws and you feel relatively comfortable that your blaster isn't going to fall apart, I recommend kind of holding it firmly and then testing it to make sure that it works the way you want it to. Once all the parts are realigned correctly, which may take a few tries and the barrel is spinning, you close it all up correctly. Your strong arm is fixed. It should be working perfectly well now. And yeah, that's basically the fix to how to realign your barrel. If you enjoyed this video helped you, please make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a like, and see you next time.